Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. This is my guide on Angora the Spider Queen. I recommend doing her before any other bosses in the Cursed Forest. That way you can craft better armor to help you out. For this battle, I used my usual spell combos of Corrupted Skull and Death Knight. I like both for the range they give and the skeleton summons they provide. I also use a Veil of Illusion as it spawns a shadow that shoots at the enemy. She is very easy to get to, just go straight north, and once you are in the spider cave, the fog doesn't affect you or your map. You can fight or run past all the other spiders in the area, just be sure when you get to the ramp at the end that none are following you. A tip I learned after is if you break all the egg sacs at the edge of the arena and kill the spiders in them, it reduces the amount of additional spiders you have to fight during the actual battle. If you accidentally aggro her while doing this, you can just run back down the ramp to reset her. For the first fight, you want to keep a good range. Her physical attacks do a lot of damage. In my clip at the end, you can see how quickly I lose health when I'm up close. Throughout the battle, the Spider Queen has six main ranged attacks, and a couple melee attacks that do a bunch of damage. Her first attack is shooting poison darts in a fan towards you. They are fairly easy to dodge, but if you do get hit like me, it just knocks you back a little bit and does a small amount of damage. She also summons in other spiders to fight. You will see a black misty shadow form as the spider appears. Try to kill these spiders quickly so you don't become overwhelmed in the fight. This is something I'm very bad at. The next attack she does is shooting a big web ball at you, which if you get caught in the area, it slows you down a lot. She will also shoot a web string at you, which if it hits you, it will suck you in close to her. For her big AOE attack, she looks like she is gathering or making a large poison ball in front of her, which she throws up in the air. You will see the large red circle of where it's about to land. Once it does, it will splash out into several smaller areas. The poison from this lingers on the ground for a few seconds. And if you run through it, you will be poisoned, which drains a bunch of health. As you can see, between her and all the spiders she summons in, this fight quickly gets out of hand, with poison everywhere, and there's not really any safe spots for you to go. I found the best thing you can do in this situation is just stay to the edge of her arena and fight all her little summon spiders before going back and fighting her again. It's fairly simple to do, as long as you kite around the edges because she does walk very slowly. Doing this will give you a whole bunch more breathing room and it will make the rest of the battle a whole lot simpler. And for her final attack, she does this big ground slam, but I find this one's fairly easy to avoid, especially if you're staying ranged throughout the fight. You will see a large red circle around her and then she jumps up in the air and lands. If you get caught by this, it does do quite a lot of damage. Anyway, I hope this guide helps. If there's anything you want to see, or if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and good luck.